our living world hello friends my name is baby i am very happy to meet you all i have come here to learn more and more things we can see many colorful pictures and animation hey the teacher is coming get ready good morning children good morning, morning ma'am ma children this is our first science class today we are going to start with our first chapter the living world living world what is it ma'am this world where we live is wonderful and beautiful with many kinds of things such as trees plants butterfly fishes sun birds moon cars furniture buses and many more These objects are differentiated as natural objects and artificial objects. The natural objects are those which exist on their own in this world such as trees, plants, butterfly, fishes, sun, birds, and moon other objects which are created by man are called artificial objects they are tables cars lamps chair building etc living and non living things now let us see what are living things and non living things natural objects like cat dog bird and plant have life they are known as living objects whereas objects like sun moon table chair and car do not have life they are called non living objects difference between living and non living things now let us see how we differentiate between a living thing and a non living thing living things can move they move from place to place in search of food and to take shelter let us see some of them a rabbit can run a dog can walk A frog can jump or hop. Fishes can swim. And some parts of the plant move towards the sunlight. Living things need food. They need food for energy which helps them to move from place to place and to grow. Fishes grab their food in the water. Cats drink milk. Birds eat grains. All living things breathe, but different animals breathe through different body parts such as lungs, gills, air holes and skin. Most of the plants breathe through tiny pores in their leaves called stomata. animals like dogs and cats breathe through their lungs fishes breathe through gills frogs breathe through air holes let us see an example take two jars with live cockroaches inside close the jar one with fully closed lid and another jar with holes in the lid 
live them for a day or two what happens the cockroaches in the jar which do not have hole in the lid die the cockroaches in the other jar with hole on the lid survive the cockroaches in the second jar had supply of air through the hole in the lid hence they live likewise a potted plant when kept in open survive but when you close it with a box it will also die for want of air all living things feel they react when you touch them or when you love or hate them living things show their feelings by crying and laughing living objects whether plant or animal do not remain the same they grow big and multiply their kind which is called reproduction a baby grow into a man a chick grows into a hen a plant grows into a tree we have just had a small discussion regarding the reproduction of living things so plants and animals both are living things they differ in many aspects let us learn about it now ma'am we all love young animals like the kittens and the pups yes all kids love to play with kittens and pups we will see how they grow into big animals a baby grow into a man a pup grow into a dog a chick grows into a hen but this growth stop after certain period in case of human beings and animals but plants grow continuously till they die let us see how they change in their form and shape a baby grow into a man a pup grow into a dog your human body or an animal retain the same form and shape even after growing into an adult but as you see in case of plants they change their shape when they grow from a seedling into a tree you can find that human and animals reproduce young ones of their own kinds you must have seen dogs or cats around your place with small one yes ma'am we have a pet dog in our house it gave birth to five little puppies your horse gives birth to a colt a dog gives birth to a pup a cow to a calf a kangaroo to a buck a mother to a baby a hen lays an egg and the chick will hatch out of the egg other birds like crow parrot and sparrow build their nest in a safe place and then they lay their eggs in the nest lizards snakes and frogs also reproduce by laying eggs let us see the life cycle of a frog as you see in the picture a frog lays eggs the next stage of the egg is called the embryo then it changes into a tadpole where it crosses three stages and in the final stage it gets the form of a frog now let us see what is oviparous and viviparous animals such as snakes and fish which reproduce by laying eggs are called oviparous animals such as cat and dog which reproduce by giving birth to young ones are called viviparous in case of plants they reproduce through a seed or a stem example sow a seed 
in the soil and water after two or three days a seedling will come out of the seed this grows bigger and bigger and in case of reproduction through stem take a stem cutting of a rose plant and plant it in the soil in few days the stem develops into a plant with flowers